Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's uh, R uh, session. So, of course, R is a, a great programming language. I know when I mention the word programming, it scares uh, the hell out of most of you. But really, this is a very exciting uh, programming language that each accountant, and actually not only accountants, each researcher, statistician, accountant, engineers who are, for example, doing what we call bills of quantities, we have to understand all of us, these are. All right, so I would want us to start right away, first of all, by downloading the R, R Studio. So I want to imagine that all of us have uh, this R Studio. So go there, and of course, uh, you are able to download it. So here I've been able to open it. So once you open this, I would want you to acknowledge that you, you will always have four areas. We have this area that we call our scripts area. We have our environment where we shall be taking our data objects or our objects basically. We have uh, in this particular case, this space here where we shall be having our graphs, for instance, going our plots, etc. And then of course we have our console. Console is where I will be getting my feedback as I do my scripting. So I would want to first of all use uh, the data that is given to us, that has been given to us, what in this case here we call the gap minder, the gap minder. So then I would want us to install the gap minder. So you go here, you start scripting. So you're scripting, the first script there is to give a command of install. You can see install has already come up. So I just need to click on it. So when I say install packages, I'm able to see it's coming here in bracket. What do I want to install? I want to install the gap minder. So I start typing it, gap minder. I can see it has already popped up, it is here. So once it pops up like this, I just need to click on it. That is it. And then I run the script. To run the script, you can see this icon, run the script. Or basically, you can press control enter. You can press control enter to run a script, to run a line. So in this case, I would want to run this line. So then I'll be able to say run. You can see it is describing there for us, run the current line or selection. You can also do what you can also type there, control enter. So let me just say run there. So it's downloading, it's downloading, it's downloading, it's downloading. You can see 40 whatever, right? There we are, it's already downloaded, it's 1.98 MB. Once I install these, I would want to transfer everything to my library. So I'll type the library. So already I can see library has come up. So what I need to do is to tab or I click on it. I can click on it or tab. So I tab like that. What do I want to take to my library? What I would want to take to my library in this case here is uh, the gap minder. So we have here gap minder. We have what we call the gap. It's already there, so tab. Great, and then I run the script. To run the script, I'll press here, control, enter. Now, the other thing is to take this data to my global environment here. Environment is empty for now. There is no analysis I'll be able to do without taking this to the, without taking this to the environment. So in this case, how do I take this to the environment from the library? I'll come and select the data. So I'll come and say here, the data. You can see it is here, data. And then I'll be able to tab there or I click on it. Again, it's gap minder. It is gap minder. I can see it has already popped up. Click on it like that. Run the script by saying control, enter. So when I say control, enter, I can see my gap minder. It is 1704 observations of six variables. And if I would want to see in this case here, what I have here under the gap minder, I'll simply come and I click on this. When I click on this, I'm able to see one, two, three, four five, six columns, right? The six variables. And if you go down, it is 1704 rows. Columns are how many? Six columns like that. So we have the country, we have the continent, we have in this case here, the year, we have the life expectancy, we have the population, and then we have GDP uh, per cup like that. Great. So I would want to go back so that I can continue with my analysis. Now, once I'm here, what would I want to do? What would I want to do once I'm here? What would I want to do? What would I want to do once I'm there? So for instance, I may want the summary. I may want all this gap minder data summarized for me to be able to pick 
the most important metrics. So no worries, I'll come and type their summary. I will type your summary. I love R. So when I say summary, when I start typing like this, I can see summary has popped up. I only need to come and click on it or I simply say tab, right? So in this case here, then what do I want? I want a summary of the gap minder. Summary of the gap. It's already come up there. So summary of the gap minder like that. And then I run the script. To run the script, I've just told you, press either this or you simply say control. I'm used to control, enter. So when I run the script, script here, I'm able to see like if it's life expectancy, what is the minimum? What is the first quartile? What is the median? What is the mean? What is the maximum? For each of these metrics, there were six, remember, population. It is, I'm able to get my summaries very, very nicely. I'm able to get my summaries very, very nicely. Of course, there are variables that have got there, numbers like that. So if it is a population, I'm able to pick that the country among us, those countries given there, the one that has got the list is this one here with about 6 million people. ETC, ETC, like that. Then I have the GDP per cup. So I'm basically able to pick a few parameters. Now, what if, for example, you know, this could be also overwhelming in terms of interpreting, yeah? right? What if I want to get the mean, the mean of a particular variable like population? So if I want to get the mean of a population, what I'll do, I'll come and say mean there, and then I'll be able to open bracket, say pop, because it's captured as pop, pop like that for population. Great, then I'll be able to say in this case here, control enter. So what are you seeing here, error, right? Error, why? Because I've not yet specified and they're telling you the object pop is not found. R is very interesting. So if I would want to find it, I have to find it within my data called in this case here, gap minder. So I'll come and continue typing here, gap minder, gap minder. And because I'm now only interested in population alone, I'll come and put what here, dollar sign population. So the mean of the population, which is well within the gap minder. Then I'll be able to run the script by saying control, enter. So you can see it is giving you 29, 60, 20, 12, 12 like that. 12 like that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this will be quite a hard thing to remember. If I would want to be going for particular variables, if I would want to be going for particular variables in my analysis, like a GDP per cap for particular columns, then the best thing is to attach these things in my data. The best thing is to attach. So there is a very important command whenever I want to attack. So I'll come and say here, attach. So attach, attach set of R objects. You can see here, attach set of R objects. The data is attached to the R search path. This means that the database is searched by R when evaluating a variable, when evaluating a variable like when I'm after a column. So objects in the database can be accessed by simply giving their names. So then I'll come under attach. I can see attach has come here. So I simply need to tab or just click on it. What do I want to attach? I want to attach my gap minder. Already it's coming up there. So gap minder and then I run the script. So attach, run the script, so control enter like that. Now, should I want to go for individual variables like now when I want to get the mean, when I want to get the mean, the mean, the mean, when I want to get the mean, the mean, it's there, of in this case here, population. Now, I don't have to say so many things because already population has been attached. So I'll simply say mean, population, and then I run the script. When I run the script, I'm able to see the mean is given here, which is the same as the mean that we got using the other method. So I hope you guys are following, and I'm so sure that most of you are following me here for the very first time. Please go to, if it's YouTube, and show that we are sharing this video, right? If it's, uh, 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 if, if there is a, that possibility, please try to do what here, to comment there, like my videos, like my videos, like my videos, subscribe, very important. Great, 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 great. Great, great. So if for instance, you're interested in some graphic graphics here, just get to study your variables like life expectancy, great, great. If for example, I would want to really get, uh, <clears throat> to do a histo, a histo, it's already there, histograms, it's already there, so come on the tab there. So a histo of life expectancy it is here. So tab like that, 
All right. So once I run the script by saying control enter, I'm able to see my histogram of life expectancy, which is a very wonderful thing. Wonderful thing. This is a wonderful thing. Wonderful thing. Great. So please ensure that you are able to pause and you are able to practice with me. Very important. Okay, so if you would wish, for example, to do some linear regressions, so linear model. So in this case here, we have via LM. We call it LM, linear model. So in this case here, you want a linear model, a linear model of what here? A linear model, a linear model, a linear model of uh, Y, you could take Y to be the life expectancy. So we have your life expectancy, right? Put there some space. And then we have verses, verses. So there is this button, which is on top of your tab, on top of your tab, eh? immediately be below, or rather uh, before, before one. So you have to say shift. You, I want, in this case here, this funny, right? Dash, a funny dash. And then of course you say, in this case here, uh, a space again. So I would want to do this life expectancy as a, a function of what here? GDP, as a function of GDP per cup. So LM of life expectancy versus what your GDP per cup like that. So please run the script, run the script. So when you run the script, you are able to see call, the formula is given here. They have given you the coefficients, the intercept is here. And then of course you have the gradient, the gradient. So you're able to get your regression equation. You're able to get your regression equation, right? So the key thing here, the key thing, ladies and gentlemen, that you're supposed to master here, the key thing that you're supposed to master, the key thing that you're supposed to master is what here, the key thing which you're supposed to master, the key thing that you're supposed to master is here. LM for linear model, life expectancy. Life expectancy should be the Y, you should start always with the Y variable, right? Of course, in this case here, the higher the GDP, the longer we expect people to live on us, right? versus GDP. So how to get this versus this funny dash? Don't forget, it is what here, don't forget, it is shift, and then you press this particular, this particular button, which is on top of what here, this particular, which is on top of uh, the tab, or immediately before one, before one, before one, before one, before one. Great. Great, of course, uh, that uh, particular also, in this case here, what I could call confused dash, in some proper keyboards, you'll be able to see it uh, there next to enter, where we have a hash, eh? but in my keyboard doesn't work. In most of the keyboards that I have, uh, that I know of, it's normally on top of what here, the tabs, the tabs, funny. So I'm repeating again. So we have LM, right? So I want to regress two of them, I want to regress two of them, so to regress two of them, so come and say open bracket. So we have here life expectancy. It's already there, life expectancy. Let's try working this out without water, without leaving any space. So shift this one. And then we have the GDP, the GDP, the GDP, the GDP. It's there, tab, right? And then you run. When you run this, what are you able to see? When you run this, you can see we are getting exactly the same. The same. And then the good thing with this is that, for example, if we would want some multivariate, if we would want some multivariate, multivariate, a multivariate regression equation, you simply come and uh, add your second, for example, your second, for example, what here, your second, your second, your second, independent variable like population, your second independent variable like the population, and then you run the script. You run the script, so you'll be able to see now here, we have uh, life expectancy versus GDP and the population. And they have given you coefficients here. You have the intercept, you have the gradient of uh, GDP, and then you have the gradient of the population. Now, what if, for example, you want the whole summary, you want more than this, you want the correlation coefficients, you want to get the p-values, no problem. You simply come before this and type the word summary. You open bracket there. 
when you open bracket here, because of this inner bracket, you must come and introduce an outer, a new outer bracket there, like that. And then now you run the command by saying control enter. You run the command by saying control enter. So you'll be able to see great, great things down here. You'll be able to see great, great things down here. You'll be able to see they have given you very many things, including the errors, the estimated standard errors, the T values. You must have seen this in advanced management accounting. You can see here, we have, we have degrees of freedom. We have the P values. We have the F statistic. That is it. I would want to see whether there is anybody who will be able to follow this R concept up to there. And please don't forget to do what here to comment. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe.